Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to my channel. Eat healthy, get rich, and drink good beer. My name is Taranjit Singh Rai, and I teach university-going students, college-going students, to pay off that student loan, to save for their marriage, to save for deposit to the house, and also, if you're a lifelong learner, you can still learn. So today, on special request of my vegetarian subscribers, I'm gonna cook completely vegetarian dish. I will also introduce one penny stock for which I have done my due diligence. For this dish, you need couscous, grated carrot, red pepper, fresh coriander, pomegranate seeds, red onion, lime, turmeric, ground coriander, ground cumin. I'm gonna add a very, very tiny bit of turmeric first. Turmeric is a flat track bully. It will overpower, so we're just gonna use a very, very tiny, tiny sprinkle just to give a little bit of color. Coriander, ground cumin. We're gonna mix these first. Add a little bit of olive oil. Squeeze a line. I'm using raw vegetables here, but you can, if you want, give it a two minutes roast in olive oil. That's also fine. For every 100 grams of couscous, you need 125 ml of water. But don't worry, there is no rules to my cooking guys. So just use this finger uh, rule. So just have boiling water, which is this tall, standing on top of couscous. Add the boiling water. Just gentle, gentle mix. Cover it for eight minutes. And then we will add the vegetables. Beer of the day is the Squealing Pig IPA. Apparently there are one billion pigs alive all over the world and all of them are squealing. Well, guys, this is a local uh, brewery. This is brewed locally in Northern Ireland in Rendlestown. I really like this beer and I think it's gonna go really, really well with this Moroccan inspired couscous with colorful, colorful vegetables. As always, I'm not gonna wait. Let's have a sip. Really hope you guys, if you like punk IPA, Elvis juice types of uh, beers, the same taste. In the meantime, the couscous is absorbing a hot water. Let's talk about the stock. By the way guys, that couscous has so much red color and different colors. I think it will be a good Valentine uh, Day meal for your partners. If you want to try, just giving you some ideas for the big day. Okay, the, the stock I want to talk today is, is AEG Active Energy Group. You know this channel is all about eating healthy and investing ethically. So last week we talked about KWBT, how their products gonna revolutionize the way soil is treated with uh, fertilizers. Continuing on the same theme, I found this stock, uh, which is again in the renewable sector. So what they are doing is they are developing next generation of biomass fuels using sustainable resources. What they do is they refurbish the existing coal treatment plants into producing these pallets. Uh, which are produced from waste uh, resources. As you know, uh, politically, it's very important. Biden administration is gonna go big on, on renewable energy. Uh, they're gonna go big on recycling, supporting such companies. So they have this uh, revolutionary product called uh, Cold Switch. Uh, I think they have a patent for it as well. Biomass based fuel that utilizes low value forestry, agricultural residues and energy crops. Again, it has several advantages compared to other biomass fuels, torrified or white pellet alternatives. Uh, they also have this uh, peat switch, uh, which again utilizes the waste. Guys, waste is big. Uh, you can make so much money just by treating the waste. Uh, peat switch is a steam uh, beneficiated soil substrate product made from waste fiber. They have uh, this uh, manufacturing facility in Lumberton and the company had acquired about 415,000 square feet of uh, covered factory space to, to basically generate uh, and produce these revenue generating products. They are in North Carolina. Uh, they are also in, in Ukraine. Again, very important in terms of the incoming uh, Biden administration. I think they can get a lot of grants. The financials, again, it's a penny. Uh, I don't look into financials. KWBT was absolutely sensational financials, but this is opposite. It's a small market cap, guys. It's only 19 million. Uh, price is around one penny. Most of the shares are held 
about 26.59% is uh, by insiders, 6% by uh, institutions, 8% of the float is held by the institutions and there are three uh, institutions that are holding this share. Uh, it's not a profitable company but uh, Simply Wall Street wrote an article on 3rd of Feb uh, saying that by the end of 2021 this company might uh, turn into uh, profit. I think this is going to happen pretty early because of the favorable conditions because the world is moving towards more recycling um, hence ABML uh, type of company is going to thrive and similarly I think this company will definitely thrive. I am not an investment advisor. My videos are made for entertainment purposes. I'm only going to put 100 pounds which is going to uh, get me around 10,000 shares. So I'm not putting huge amount of money. This is only the coffee money, the night out money. As I've always said to you guys, look at what HCMC did. We invested when it was 0 0.0001 and now I am sitting on like 5,000% gains. So if you want to hear about such companies, please like, subscribe and hit that uh, notification button so that you don't miss out on uh, these alerts. This is the only medium I use guys, YouTube. I am on Twitter, so as you know, I can only make videos on Saturday. I absolutely love my day job and I have no plans of quitting. So the pattern's gonna continue. There are some stocks that I don't make videos and I do post, so you can follow me on Twitter. Most of you who are watching this video, about 87% are not subscribed. Guys, I am almost, I think 900 uh, subscribers now. So I wanna hit that thousand pretty quick. So please help me in achieving that uh, goal. Going back to AEG, guys, they recently got a big order from Pacific Corp, okay? It is getting me really excited because I looked into it. So Pacific Corp is Berkshire Hathaway Energy. I don't think I need to tell you what that means. It means Warren Buffett. If Warren Buffett believes in some company, he is God of investing, okay? So I'm gonna believe in this company. So I'm gonna put 100 pounds, but again, uh, don't throw too much money. Penny stocks are risky. The value can go down to zero. And to be honest with you, I don't care even if it goes down to zero because I want to give money to this company because they are saving the planet. They are doing, they are recycling the waste, the agricultural waste. Uh, I think it's uh, just for, just for ethical reasons, I'm gonna buy 10,000 shares of this company and I'm gonna wait for one year. Guys, also, um, this is a UK listed company. You can buy the shares of this company in ISA. If you're using Trading212, you can actually in, uh, make a ISA account. So it's a tax-free account. You can invest 20,000 pounds every year and there will be no tax on any of the gains. Any stock that you can buy through ISA, please, please buy through ISA. You don't have to worry about tax. I think this is a really good vote of confidence. I think there will be more customers. I think there will be more revenues. I can see this company uh, becoming profitable pretty soon. That's all I want to say about this stock. Do your own diligence as always. It's your money. You, If you make money because of my uh, videos, that's because of you, not because of me. Similarly, if you lose the money, it's not because of me, it's because of you. You own up your own decisions. Let's see if the couscous is ready. Eight, eight minutes. It has absolutely absorbed. So you gently, gently use the fork like that to mix. Okay guys, time to add the vegetables. The pepper, grated carrot, coriander. Kids don't eat onion, so onion I'm gonna add last. Guys, look at this. This is, couscous is really, really bland. Okay, so you can add salt if you want. Uh, I have added a little bit of onions and the last thing I'm gonna do is Garnish these with little bit of pomegranate seeds. Time for a taste test. Guys, this is really, really healthy. Couscous has carbohydrates and proteins. There's lots and lots of vegetables. Let's see if this goes well with this beer. Guys, this is a really good combination. You can add grilled chicken on top, but this dish was promised to my vegetarian uh, subscribers. But you can also add boiled egg, you can add anything you want. Uh, couscous is by nature very bland. So you can actually add whatever you want. Guys, try this combo and I'll see you in the next video.